So today we're gonna to talk about something controversial. And from an Asian American's perspective, I know there will be a lot of hate comments and all sorts of perspective. And I appreciate that. I'm gonna read through all the comments and get back to you on my response. But this is the land of the free. So we'll talk about how US failed relative to other Asian countries like Vietnam, Korea, South Korea, Japan, and China, why they've succeeded in dealing with COVID. So I'm a proud American. I've been here my whole life. And I want to talk about where we failed here. I think the biggest thing that allows China to respond so well to coronavirus is the ability of their executive power where we sacrifice in security in this case we gain in freedom in China someone that have caught COVID will have to be basically be prison for 30 days right now even I have friends that have gone to China and you know they caught COVID and they're basically quarantined for 30 days without being able to see their family without being able to even go outside they're locked in a prison with cameras and well prison it's it's basically a makeshift tent for medical service but they're not really caring about the well-being of that individual making sure they get the best care but they're making sure that the entire community is safe likewise if one person in china gets contacted with covid the entire city gets locked down so you're talking about minimizing 15,000 people 20,000 or even 100,000 people's freedom for the security of the billions of people in that country so they made the decision right from the beginning onset of covid to sacrifice the freedom of those 0.01 percent of the population to make sure the safety of the entire population is that a good thing or bad thing you know that's for you to debate is the freedom worth it because in America if you've caught COVID you can stay home you can self quarantine you can still get Uber Eats it's up to you you can still go to grocery no one's really stopping you but you get that freedom do you think that's a good idea let me know in the comments below I don't know if that's better or worse because I know that people that suffer from COVID in China gets a really bad treatment uh, inside the hospital those makeshift hospitals that they have this big stigma on those individuals and those around them all get quarantined inside for 14 days 15 days uh, even if they don't have COVID so there's strict policy policy on that and their executive power from the government allowed them to counter COVID have done so well with quarantining. What do I think US should have done? I think if a future virus hit, I recommend the government to shut down for 14 days rather than having state policies, have different policies, because it doesn't work. And it might be a pro and con, I'm not sure if that's better or not, because China's so tough on their regulation that they lose the freedom and the ability for the citizens to voice their concerns on other issues. But in America, because you have different laws in every state that have different regulations, the power structure is different, the virus has shown a flaw in our system. And that's something serious, and we should really rethink if another pandemic hits, how do we evaluate the system? Maybe it's time to update the law so that if a pandemic hits, we're able to utilize the executive branch and come up with a better solution than what we have now. Why it doesn't work now? Let's talk about it. One state in like New York and California have really strict monitoring. They shut down restaurants, they've shut down indoor dining, they've shut down basically everything. And at the same time, they don't shut down transportation, which is a very strange thing. Like why would you shut down a small, medium-sized business like a restaurant, but not shut down buses and trains so that allows people to still commute and get the virus. And on top of that, New York is so strict on their policy and California is so strict on their policies. Then you have Florida, right? Um, I'm in Vegas. The Vegas is slightly less strict. Domestic traveling is not banned. With that in mind, what is the point of having a strict policy in New York when you're allowed to go to another state? You can party in that state. I know a lot of people have gone to Florida to party during the New Year or go to New Vegas to party during the New Year and then come back and get tested in their own city and then now they have COVID. So the different state policies actually is, is a flaw in our system when countering COVID. Third thing is, I think the US government did not do the best job in regulating and monitoring each individual that has COVID and ensuring the self-quarantine process. I know friends and individuals in the U.S. that have gotten COVID and there's no policy on quarantining. The choices are made by yourself, whether you should come out, you should leave the 10 days after symptom, but you don't really know if when the last day of your symptom is. It's everything is just not very exact and it's very, it's decided by yourself basically. You're choosing to go out or you're choosing to quarantine and that's a flaw in our system. The fact that our entire nation can't get behind behind wearing a mask, it shows another side effect of democracy, which is a great thing where we have the freedom to choose to do this and we have the human right, we can choose for the human right, we can talk about this, we can voice this, but it simply did not work in an emergency situation like COVID. It works on a lot of different topics where we can vote on the law, we can vote on different states, different policies, we have the right to move to the state, I think it's great. If you like the state's policy under income tax, you can move to Vegas for no income tax. You can move to Dallas. You can move to Texas for no income tax if you don't believe in that. You can move to different states. I think that's a great thing. But with COVID, there's got to be an emergency action plan so that people can stay safe. And we could have
have gone over this in 14 days or a month instead of the situation we're in now, which has caused thousands of lives over you know, the freedom of whether we to wear masks or not, the freedom of whether we should quarantine 12, 14 days or not. Because now we try quarantining, we try to lock down indoor dining, but the cases are not dropping. It's just because the different states have different policies. So yeah, the checks and balances work great for democracy, for equality, for check and balances of power between the states and the federal government. But it clearly shows a weakness at times like this when we need an emergency action and we need to do the thing to save lives. And unfortunately, I don't think COVID will be the end in our lifetime. Every 10 years, every 100 years, there will be a virus like this. It could be worse. It could be better. And it's a good time for us to learn and see how we can adapt. And I hope the lawmakers will see this as a case study and really change that to be able to keep all the amazing things in America, the freedom, the ability to debate, the ability to vote on different things, but really have a policy in place for a pandemic so we can track and monitor cases better so we can have a regulation across the board that can really solve this because the different regulation the states really destroyed us this time. If you have any thoughts on COVID and how we can do better as a country, please leave a comment. I read every comment and respond to all the comments, so I would love to hear your thoughts on how we can improve as a nation to deal with a pandemic like this. This video is not to divide people. It's not to divide people whether we should wear masks or whether the virus came from China or the virus is made by China. This video is not about this. The video is simply about how we can improve as a nation, learning from the mistakes that we've made to become a better nation with the freedom, with all the benefits that come to this nation, and how can we address a similar pandemic that happens in the future. How can we do better? I would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below.